Hello my friends, I'm Duchess and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am working on a reel for Instagram. I'm drawing two of my main characters from my webtoon. Let's get started. Some of you may know that I'm on Instagram a lot and I always post stories and art. I really love Instagram and interacting with all of my followers and my artist friends. I also enjoy making fan arts and original art every week. Recently, I've been enjoying making reels for entertainment. I've always made reels to upload, but they were just time-lapse videos of my drawings, which can be pretty boring. But I've been making more entertaining reels with fun audios lately that kind of relate to my webtoon character, so yeah, it's much more enjoyable. Right now, I'm working on a reel that I'll probably post two weeks from now. I like to plan ahead and do things in advance just in case because some weeks I have less time to work on my drawings so when I have time I like to make extra content. Same goes for my webtoon and everything else. You can never have too much. I've been making a lot of Blake and Magnolia content for my Instagram followers so I decided to make some CL and Hayden content this time. CL is the main main character of my webtoon The Unexpected Enchantress. The link is in the description. Hayden, Blake, and Magnolia are my other OCs, my other characters. They're kind of like the supporting main characters. Like, they're they're important, they're main characters, but CL is the ultimate main character, if that makes sense. Yeah, but I love them all. Since this reel is supposed to be posted later, I'm not going to go into detail about what it's about or which audio I'm using, but maybe some of you guys might be able to figure out what audio I'm using somehow. I also don't make my drawings super neat for reels because then it would take me even more time to make a reel. Reels can take me 5 plus hours even without fully rendering, so I don't render and I don't draw the line art that well. I do the line art rather quickly so it can be pretty messy. But for this particular part of the reel, I wanted to spend a little more time on it and add a bit of rendering to make it look a little more pleasing to the eye. As you can see, I already did the line art and it's super messy, I know. It'll probably look better after I color and render a bit. You just have to trust the process sometimes. I recently started adding these face lines. I'm not sure what they're called, but yeah, I'm just gonna call them face lines. I've been adding these face lines to help draw faces more proportionally, and it's been so helpful. I definitely recommend that you learn how to use them and apply them to your art because it has improved my proportions a lot, in my opinion. I, I always do body outlines, but I didn't never really did face lines so yeah I'm really glad that I started using them. I went ahead and just put the colors I'm going to use onto the canvas. I usually use a reference and just color drop the colors I'm using. Some days it's annoying to have the reference in the corner of the screen because it blocks my view of the whole screen and today was one of those days. I'm going to fill in the background first. For reels, I don't put much effort at all into the backgrounds. I usually don't even touch the background, but it's nighttime for my characters right now, and I I guess I just wanted to show that it was, so I did put some minimal effort into the background. Then I fill in the flats for my characters. For reels, I color everything on a single layer just to make it easier for myself, but um, for this particular part of the reel, I'm going to use separate layers for the hair and the eyes. After I color everything, I'm going to render. I still want to do minimal shading, so I'm only going to add a bit of shading in the darkest areas that I think I should shade. I'm focusing more on the lighting and illuminating my OCs, you know, because it's nighttime but the moon is out, so there's going to be light. So I'll shade under their necks, next to their nose, under their nose, around their eyes, under their lips, and in the deep wrinkles of their clothes. Then I'll go to the layer with the add mode. This layer intensifies and brightens the colors that I use. Since it's nighttime, the moon is up, so I'm going to use a saturated blue to highlight. 
I'll also add a touch of yellow later to make the drawing warmer. For the hair, I'm going to shade with the usual colors that I use, but I'm going to use the blue and yellow to highlight their hair as well. I recently started spending more time on rendering hair. I feel like my hair drawings are very solid and blocky. They're very cartoon-like and my art style is a bit more realistic, so it doesn't quite match, but I'm working on it. I'm going to do a little bit of color, add a little bit of color to their face, to their lips, their cheeks, and a little bit of details to the eyes and some highlights. Last but not least, not sparkles, but stars. It's nighttime, so you gotta have some stars in the sky. And I also added some more lighting and also some darkness to make to like balance out the light and the dark. Now I am more than halfway done with this reel. I think I have two more drawings to make for the audio I'm using, but that's all I'm going to show you guys in this video. That is all I have for you guys this week. If you guys enjoyed this week's video or learned something new, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get notified. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next week.